Hey, what's up? It's Liz, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the splits, even if you were not a dancer or a gymnast growing up. Now this video is a two-part series. We're gonna be going over front and back splits as well as middle splits, but they're gonna be in two separate videos, so make sure you watch which one applies to you or watch both if you wanna learn how to do splits in all three directions. Quick little backstory, I did not grow up as a gymnast or an acrobat or a dancer at all, so I had to learn the hard way and I learned how to do the splits by practicing three basic things. And these are incredibly important if you wanna learn how to do the splits too. Number one is patience. Now I know you don't wanna hear that, but the splits are something that will not happen overnight. It's something that you have to practice, practice, practice. And the number one most important thing that you can have while you're learning your splits is patience. Make sure that you practice, make it a consistent part of your routine, and I promise you, you will get to your split in no time. I recommend doing this video along with me three to four times a week if you're really serious about getting your splits and just be patient. The number two most important thing that we need to practice when we're learning our splits is flexibility. So what I mean by flexibility is making sure that the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and the fascia, all of those are being worked and stretched in a gradual manner. So we're not just plopping down or forcing or ripping anything. We are going to gradually over time lengthen all of those body parts so that it is easy and comfortable to sit in our splits. The third and final thing that we need to practice is mobility. So when it comes to hips and especially the middle splits, we have to work on our hip mobility. So today's video is going to walk you through all different kinds of exercises that you can practice to finally conquer your splits. And P.S. Don't worry if you're super inflexible right now. I started off as the most stiff person in the world. So if I can do it, you can do it. And again, it all comes back to that number one thing of patience. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you find it helpful, awesome. Share it with somebody who you can do it with. And make sure you comment below and tell me how are your splits coming along. I can't wait to hear from you. All right, let's get into the exercises. Little disclaimer, never, ever, ever stretch or work on flexibility or mobility when you are cold, meaning you haven't done a warm up first. So I'm going to walk you through a quick little warm up that you can do for the lower body and the hips. So let's hop into the warm up. Okay, so taking your feet slightly wider than hip width apart, we're just gonna drop down, do a couple squats, get some blood flowing into the legs. Good, get those hips moving, get all the joints moving, get some synovial fluid in the joints so that you're nice and lubricated. You're not gonna pop anything or hurt yourself. Good, when you're done with a couple squats here, make sure you breathe, pull your abs in, nice tall posture. Then we're gonna take the feet out wider and take the toes slightly pointed out. We're gonna squat down and lift. So sumo squat reach. Good, opening up the hips, make sure again, your knees are tracking out over in the direction of your toes, stacking those knees right on top of the heels. Heels are planted. Good. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, and last one here. Good, we're gonna take the toes straight forward towards me. And we're gonna shift our hip to the left and then the right. Left and the right. Now some people get little hip pops here and that's okay, as long as it's pain-free range of motion, and you're not hurting yourself. Keeping it nice and safe. Again, pushing your hips behind you. <sighs> Keeping the knees stacked over those heels, driving the heels down into the ground. Good, push your booty out. Four, three, two, and one. Good, once again, toes go out. Drop the hips down, take your hands on top of the thighs. We're gonna drop one shoulder down, look up. Nice little inner thigh stretch. So a spinal twist. And then we'll go to the other side. Just opening up those hips. Good, come to the center, inhale, reach up. Big lift, take the toes forward once again. We're gonna exhale forward, forward, flat back. Stretching out the backs of those legs, shift your weight back into the left leg. And over into the right leg. Keep your back flat here, your abs are in. Beautiful, we're gonna turn to face the side. Go ahead and drop the back leg down just a little bit. Finding our runner's lunge position, strong straight back leg. Back is flat. Again, notice 90 degree bend here in my forward knee. Good, we're gonna drop the back heel down, stay low, walk your way over to the other side, find your runner's lunge. Good. So really important here to have this forward knee stacked over the heel, framing the forward leg. 
strong straight back leg. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring the back leg in. Just a little bit making a triangle with the legs, strong straight legs. Some people might wanna come on up halfway, but if you're flexible as is, you can frame your forward leg. Pull the belly in, keep the back flat. Try not to round here in your back. Keep the back flat, even if it means you have to come up. Because what we do when we do that is to concentrate the stretch on the forward leg and not into the low back. Good, carefully walk your way around to the other side. And we'll do hamstring stretch on this leg. Now you should feel nice and warm. If you don't feel warm, make sure that you continue to do a few more cardio-based dynamic stretching exercises, things like lunges, forward and back, leg swings, ankle circles, things like that. Good, carefully make your way back to center. We'll round forward, both legs stretching the backs of the legs. Inhale to lift, take the hands to the floor, heel toe your feet right below your hips, bend the knees and slowly round up, all the way up back to start. Okay, cool, let's jump into the actual stretches. All right, so now let's work on the middle splits. This was so elusive to me for over a year. So I want you to have realistic expectations of how long it's going to take you to unlock your middle splits as well. It took me over a year of practicing this consistently three to four times a week to finally be able to get my hips to touch the ground. So I'm gonna walk you through the specific exercises that I did to get myself there even though I was never a dancer or a gymnast or anything even close to the sword. We're gonna take the feet out nice and wide and point, rotate your toes backward. So you wanna think of like cranking your femur or the thigh bone back. So you're all, everything's rotating back to get external rotation in the hips. Then we're gonna sit up nice and tall, keeping those toes externally rotated, pressing the knees down, strong thighs here. We're gonna walk the hands out, walk the hands out. And then we're just gonna hang out here for a minute, okay? So again, strong straight legs and we're pressing the backs of the knees down into the floor actively as we stretch out those hips. Good, and again, rotating those feet, toes backwards behind us. And eventually, you'll notice that you start to get more and more flexible and maybe even one day you can get your chest down to the floor. But if you're not there yet, don't even worry about it. It took me a long, long time to get there too. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw someone do that stretch. And again, we're just holding these stretches for at least 20 to 30 seconds. I remember the first time I saw someone do that and I was like, holy cow, no way, never gonna happen for me. So if you're thinking that to yourself right now, I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. Just be patient. Good, carefully walk your way back up. We're gonna take the bottoms of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall. It's important to stretch out the inner thighs as well. So sit up tall, big inhale, and exhale. We're gonna bring it down, holding the feet together. You can use your elbows here to help press these knees down. If they're still really stiff, they might start up here. And you're gonna hold your feet and work your way to open up the hips and really sink into that range of motion, inner thigh stretch, working on mobility here in the hip joint. And as you get more and more flexible, eventually these knees are gonna be able to move down toward the ground. But don't force anything. Remember to be patient and kind with your body. Good, so next stretch we're gonna do is again for mobility as well. Now this is specifically inside the hip joint. It's called the frog pose. You're gonna come down onto hands and knees position. And then from here, you're gonna keep your feet flexed and your knees 90 degrees. We're gonna take the knees out to the side, come down onto the forearms, and continue to work the knees out, keeping them at 90 degrees. Now this is called frog because if you took an aerial viewpoint of this, you'd look like a frog with your hips splayed open like that. But again, my feet, toes are flexing back toward my knees. The feet stay at 90 degrees, the knees stay at 90 degrees. And eventually over time, you're gonna notice your hips getting closer and closer to the ground. But again, you have your arms here to support. So this should never be uncomfortable and you should be in full control the entire time. Now this is what I would start with and start practicing. Maybe doing this one at home in case it's awkward to do at the gym, totally get it. I did this one at home. <laughs> but maybe you do this after your yoga routine, 
or your, your stretches before you go to bed. And really just holding these poses for 20 to 30 seconds, you have to be patient. When you're ready to come out of this one, we're gonna go forward to come out, bring the legs back together, and then rise up. The next stretch that I have for you, we're actually gonna take the hands forward, and then we're gonna take the feet out wide into a straddle pose. Now this is how I started eventually working into the actual middle split, and it requires upper body strength here, as well as core control and just balance in general. So make sure you stay in full control while you're doing this straddle stretch. And eventually, over time, just like you're doing a plank, we're gonna work the feet out, 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 keeping the legs straight and strong. And then maybe one day you're able to get your forearms down to the ground, try to keep your back nice and flat, the abs pulling in. And eventually, if you ever need to bail, you just come back up and work your feet back in. But eventually, once you get down low enough, you'll be able to start to turn the feet outward and then work your way down, down, down. Now this requires quite a bit of upper body strength, so make sure that you are working on those plank moves and that upper body strengthening. If you need a couple routines that you can practice, I will link a couple other videos for you to do in the description box below. Eventually, over time, probably in six to eight months, maybe even over a year for some of you, your legs will become, your hips will become so flexible and mobile that you can get a full rotation in the actual hips. But it took, again, for me over a year of practicing those first fundamental basic moves before I was able to finally get there. And again, the most important one, rotating the toes backwards, opening up the hips this way, really working on flexibility in the fronts and the backs of the hips, as well as those couple exercises for mobility. Again, my name is Liz. I hope this video was helpful for you in learning how to unlock your splits, even if you're not a dancer or a gymnast. If it was, tell me in the comments below how you're doing with your splits or give this video a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more workout videos, healthy recipes, and lots of motivation from Super Sister Fitness. P.S. If you're looking for a full on workout plan that you can follow step by step with every single day laid out for you, including things like flexibility, mobility, strength training, fat burning, cardio, abs, booty, all of it done for you, make sure you check out the Bikini Bootcamp program. We have women in there from over 300 countries around the world and counting, and it's helped thousands of women finally get the results they desire. I'll link more info for the program below in the description box. Make sure you check it out. I'll see you inside. Bye.